morning good afternoon and good evening and welcome to my channel in today's video we are turning the family room into a gingerbread house i did the seam the year before last and i am going to elevate it a little bit i want to do something special for the baby boys this year and here is the area in which we're working on today I already put the tree up and then I have the lights on already so we're just going to decorate it and put some things together. So here's what I picked up from the Dollar Tree, these little LED candles and they take um, some uh, batteries. These ones have the batteries already in there. They're like tea light candles with the little Christmas trees and these ones take triple A so I'm just taking everything the tags off and filling them with the triple a batteries they take two and then turning on the switch they are colored i'm not a big fan of color but i thought this would be really cute that the kids would like it so i'm doing something a little bit different and special for them this year adding a little bit more color and then i'm going to take these out of the packages and pull off the tag and turn them on and place them onto the shelves Now I'm just placing in gingerbread houses from the previous year up. So I bought this two of these trifold cardboard boxes from the Dollar Tree and I am going to hot glue them together and make a cute little like fireplace. So I cut off two sides of the one and I'm going to attach it to the um, sides of this one and I am cutting it off so that it fits, cutting off the access and then I will glue that together so that I can kind of get like a box. I did cut out the middle as well so that I can have a opening for the fireplace. Now I'm just attaching the back. Okay, so now that everything's been glued together, I'm going to take this marble paper I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to wrap it on to the box. It is self-adhesive, so all I need to do is peel and stick. So for the front, I just attached it and now I'm going to cut some slits into it and fold it and tuck it to make it nice and neat and... So now I just need to add a little strip at the bottom. I went ahead and did that off camera. Now I'm just gonna add some ornaments inside and put in these LED candles. Next up, let's do the tree. So the lights are already on, so I'm going to go ahead and do the ribbon. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my ornaments like these cute little gingerbread men. They're so adorable. This one is 23. It's like a sport one. And um, we got some stock stockings and just some really adorable ornaments. I'm just going to cover the tree in. All the gingerbread men ornaments are from 
Amazon. Um, I'll link them in the description in case you're interested. This is baby girl's handprint from when she was like two. So a trick I use for filling in gaps is I use poinsettias. This helps fill up any holes. Okay, now DIY number two, we're gonna get started with our giant life-size gingerbread house. I'm really excited about this. I have some foam board. I'm just gonna basically glue them together and just make this life-size house. So here I am working on the sides. I already did the um, one. Now I'm doing the sides of each. Gonna glue them on the edges to attach it. Okay, so now we're gonna work on the roof and I'm just gonna take some foam board and make like the shape how I want the roof to be and do some measuring and then glue these together. Now I'm going to cut off any access. Oh, we got a roof. I'm so excited. I love how it's turning out. Okay, so now we're going to cut out our doorway so that the kids can come in and out. And while I'm working on the house, I set baby girl up with a little craft. She's doing her own little gingerbread house to go onto one of the shelves. She's painting it. So we're just taking some caulk and we're putting it in a piping bag from the Dollar Tree so she can use for trim. Okay, so going back to the life-size house, now we are going to go ahead and start painting it. I normally would have used um, either brown poster board or wrapping but I couldn't find it so we just decided to go ahead and paint it. Okay, so I'm going to make a part two of this video. We're going to finish painting this, let this dry, do another coat. But here is how everything is looking like so far. Um, I'm absolutely in love with it. Please make sure that you subscribe so you can see how everything turned out. We have so many more DIYs to do and so much more to complete. I want you to see how the house turned out. So make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell and all of that good stuff. And thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me. And as always, blessings to you and your beautiful families. And I'll see you guys in the next one.